Hey guys, welcome to Jet TV here, Jet Central. As usual, guys, please comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, um, have no Jets paraphernalia para 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 on right now. No Jets apparel on. Traveling right now, so just decided to do my week uh, picks, my week eleven picks. Get these things out the way. Get these things to you guys. Uh, I don't have a beard right now, so I don't want to hit any comments or anything in my inbox. I get like three hundred inbox messages oh your beard your beard your beard so long you got a scraggly beard oh black beard blah blah shut up you guys aren't even funny <laughs> just joking guys uh so let's go ahead and get into my uh my picks for the week again guys please comment rate subscribe guys comment rate subscribe and like the videos hit that thumbs up button please uh jets at denver i'm taking the jets um I definitely think this is a game that we necessarily, well, this is a game we have to win. These are games that we have to win now down the stretch because of what we've done. Uh, we lost two to the Patriots. We're clearly not going to win the division. The Patriots have the worst uh, schedule left, or the softest schedule left out of the entire league. So they're probably not going to lose, you know, too many more games. Um, and Denver is just a really bad team. Tim Tebow sucks. Um, he only completed two passes last, year, uh, last week. He was horrible before that. Uh, all they can pretty much do is run. They have two uh, running backs that are injured right now. No Sean Moreno, Willis McGahee. They're gone. Uh, we basically need to come in here, dominate defensively, and put up points offensively. That's it. Uh, I say if we score, you know, a couple touchdowns, this game's over early. Um, but we have to take care of this game, and we have to take care of Denver. Uh, I think Denver's defense is really good, and I think that could form a threat against, you know, if Mark Sanchez comes out there and throws some interceptions or our offense comes out and sucks, uh, this could definitely be a long game for us, but I think these are games we have to have, and we're going to be fired up because we just lost to the Patriots. Uh, we really didn't play our best game there, so I'm taking the Jets. Oakland and Denver, I'm taking Oakland. I think Derek McFadden's going to come back. Well, I know Derek McFadden's probably going to play in this game, but Michael Bush, Carson Palmer's making plays, TJ Hushman Zada's making plays as well. They're running pretty much the same scheme he uh, Carson Palmer ran in Cincinnati, and he feels so comfortable it's crazy. I think Minnesota's going to be able to keep the game close with AP. If he's able to make plays, uh, this game could be really, really close, but I think against Oakland front seven, uh, you know, Houston and Richard Seymour and, you know, all those those backers, uh, Wembley, and all those guys that they have, I just I can't see AP just getting 250 and three touchdowns. That's just not. I don't think that's going to happen against Oakland. So taking Oakland, Tennessee and Atlanta. I'm taking Atlanta. I think Atlanta's just a better team. They get Julio Jones back this week. Uh, Des White's going to be playing as well. Tony Gonzalez. Uh, you know Turner has been running the ball very well. I just don't see Tennessee really stopping anything that Atlanta's going to do offensively. But I see Atlanta's defense is going to be able to get after Matt Hasselback and Tennessee's offense. I think John Abraham, uh, he's he's going to be playing. He's decently healthy. I think he's going to definitely be able to get after the quarterback. So I, I just got to take Atlanta, and it's in Atlanta. Buffalo and Miami. <clears throat> I'm taking Buffalo, even though this game could be very, very close. I think Miami's defense is, is going to be, at least their front seven is going to be stout. But outside of their front seven, that secondary is whack, let me tell you. Levante Davis is not going to be playing. He's done for the year. I could see Fred Jackson, Stevie Johnson, and, and uh, Nelson, their tight end, making plays. And that's what I think the Buffalo is going to be able to do. They're going to run a lot of pick plays like they always do, those receiver X's where, you know, one guy runs into a corner that's covering another guy, and boom, you're wide open. I just definitely think that those things are going to happen uh, with Buffalo. So I just got to take Buffalo. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick is, is going to be able to beat the Miami Dolphins. So, But I think, again, if Brandon Marshall has a big game and if Reggie Bush is going to be able to get outside those tackles and run the ball heavy for Miami, it could be a long day for Buffalo. But I'm taking Buffalo in that game. Jacksonville at Cleveland, two really whack teams. Uh, I'm taking Jacksonville. I'm taking Jacksonville simply because Maurice Jones drew and Mercedes Lewis, and that is it. Cleveland sucks. Uh, not just the city, but also um, they don't have Peyton Hillis, and the football team sucks as well. So I'm taking Jacksonville. Cincinnati at Baltimore. I'm taking Baltimore. Uh, A.J. Green possibly is not going to be playing in this game. Uh, I think Baltimore is going to be fired up coming off that loss to Seattle. And as we all have found out this season, Baltimore just plays to the level of their competition. Cincinnati's a pretty damn good team, and they're in the division. I think Baltimore comes out and takes this game extremely seriously and just beats uh, Seattle. Uh, you know, just, I mean, excuse me, beats Cincinnati handily. 
I do have questions about Joe Flacco. I do have questions about their offense and are they going to come out and just put put together some type of drives and some type of points. But realistically, I think that the game is going to be competitive with Cincinnati's defense. But I just think that Baltimore's defense is so ferocious that Cincinnati is not just going to be able to do whatever they want to do, especially not without A.J. Green. Um, but I think Cedric Benson could be running the ball heavy. But still, I'm, I'm going to take Baltimore. It's in Baltimore, and they're coming off a loss to Seattle, and they're fired up. So got to take Baltimore. Dallas at Washington, I'm taking Dallas. The wheels are falling off in Washington. There is no point for me. There is nothing I could possibly say to take them. Dallas is coming off a 44-7 to win where they were so fired up against the Bills. It was crazy. I'm taking Dallas. Uh, Carolina and Detroit, I'm taking Detroit. I think Nick Fairley and Neon Sue are definitely going to get all over Cam Newton. I don't think he's going to be able to run the ball all crazy and do whatever he wants to do. I think that front seven of Detroit is definitely going to get after uh, I think Calvin Johnson and uh, Matthew Stafford is just going to have a day against Carolina's defense. They suck. So, got to take Detroit. Uh, Tampa Bay at Green Bay. I'm taking Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers right now is putting up mad numbers. He hasn't had a quarterback rating of below 100 this entire season. Tampa Bay just sucks. Um, I, I just got to take Green Bay. That's all I need to say. Um, Arizona at San Francisco. I'm taking San Francisco. Arizona's played decently uh, well, Larry Fitzgerald has played decently, let's be clear. But San Francisco's defense is just ferocious this year. And I think they hand the ball off to Frank Gore. They can hand the ball off to him all night long because Arizona cannot stop the run. So they can hand the ball off. It's going to be simple football, hard defense. They're going to run the ball. Alex Smith is going to be, you know, a game manager. Boom, they win the game. I'm taking San Francisco. Seattle at St. Louis. I'm taking St. Louis in this game, but I know that Seattle definitely has a chance to win this game as well. But I can't take Seattle because they do not play well on the road at all. That's why I cannot take them. I can't take them because I have not seen them play well on the road at all. And that is the calling card of this uh, team, of this franchise. They do not play well on the road at all. So I have to take St. Louis. Bradford's back. Uh, Steven Jackson, I think, is going to be very dynamic in this game. If he gets off and breaks a couple runs, uh, that's definitely going to hurt Seattle's defense. But... I just got to take St. Louis. Um, there's no consistency with Seattle on the road. San Diego, Chicago, I'm taking Chicago. San Diego's got some offensive line questions like you would not believe. Um, Phillip Rivers is playing out of his mind, as in he's lost his damn mind because he's throwing picks left and right. So I've got to take Chicago. They handled uh, <clears throat> their opponent last week, just absolutely dominated them. Um, Matt Forte is going to be running the ball heavy. They were without Sean Phillips again in San Diego. I just, San Diego, this is just going to be bad. And it's in Chicago. So I, I'm definitely taking Chicago. I think Chicago beats them handily. Philadelphia at the Giants, at the New York Giants. I'm taking the New York Giants. Philly just, they're done. They're three and six. Michael Vick has however many cracked ribs that he didn't tell any anybody about. I don't care. If you didn't tell anybody, I don't care that you're playing with it because you decided not to tell anybody. I'm taking the Giants. The wheels are falling off in Philly. I don't know what's going on in there. It's a dream team and blah, blah, blah. Andy Reid, your seat is so hot, your ass is burning. You bet, Boy, you better get ready to get fired. They about to fire your ass. Um, so you better get ready to get up out of here. Um, so I, I'm taking the Giants. Um, taking Eli Manning. He's, he's made a lot of decent throws this season. So that's what I'm going. I'm taking the Giants in that game again. Kansas City and New England. I'm taking New England. Kansas City is trash. <laughs> I mean, I, I, they let Tim Tebow and the Broncos offense just demolish them last week. And all they were doing were literally running at Kansas City. Kansas City is an F. They can't put up points. Uh, you know, they can't stop anybody. I mean, Kansas City is just trash. But what I can see, Kansas City does have a lot of former Patriot associates, a lot of former Patriot coaches, a lot of former Patriot VPs, a lot of, you know, it just it, it's like Patriot West um, in Kansas City. I can see Kansas City making this a competitive game because it's so many. It, you know, there's so many. You know, uh, former Patriot players and coaches and things like that, and they know their scheme so well. I can see Kansas City making this game close for some reason, but I just think at the end of the day, New England beats them. So I'm taking New England in this game. So, there goes my picks, guys. Again, this is Jets TV, Jets Central. Please comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, thank you, guys. I'm still taking topics from my blog. Uh, I'm so confused. Um, 
anything, guys. What confuses you about life? You know, let me know. Haters, liars, the cheaters, uh, people that front like they have money and they don't. Uh, you know, let me know. So, shout out to you guys. Jet Central, thank you guys for watching, man. Peace.